Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing good. So this is the next video on AMCAT automatic equations in C. So let's get started. So before getting started, if you think my work is good, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So previously we were discussing the different printing patterns that were asked in the AMCAT automatic equations. If you have forgot to watch them, please do check that out. So the today's problem is to find the GCD and the LCM of two numbers. So basically we're going to find the heads here and the LCM of the two given integers by the user. Now let's get into the concept. So basically GCD or HCF is the greatest common factor that divides exactly. So that should be the maximum or the highest number that divides both the number exactly. Means the, the reminder should be 0. The greatest common factor of 15 and 10 is 5 is because 5 2s are 10 and 5 3s are 15. And no number greater than 5 is going to divide both the 15 and 10 exactly. So here in such a case 5 is a GCD of 10 and 15. Moving on to the LCM. LCM of two numbers, two or more numbers is the smallest number that is evenly divisible by all the numbers in the set. So LCM of 6 and 10 is 30. So today we are going to find both the HCF and the LCM of the given two numbers. Please pause the video once and feel free to write down the logic for that program and after that we will discuss the logic. Hope you guys got the logic. Now let's discuss the logic. So first step is we have to get two numbers to find the HCF and LCM. So let us take two variables N1 and N2 and let us take it as 15 and N2 as uh, 10. Okay, we are taking these two numbers. Second thing is we have to check if both the numbers are divisible starting from 1. We are not considering 1 is because 1 is divisible by all the numbers. So we are starting it from 2, 3, 4, 5 till the smallest number. So if n1 is greater than n2, then the last limit will be n2. If n1 is lesser than n2, then n1 will be the last limit. So in such a case, here if you see 15 is greater than 10. So our last value will be 10. So we are, we are going to check it from 2 to 10. So obviously if we are going to check it for each and every number, like each and every number from 2 till 10, we are going to use a loop. So we are going to, we are going to check like whether it is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5 till 10. So if both of the numbers are divisible by a particular number and not greater than that, then we are going to decide as a GCD. So first we will start with 2. If you see, 15 is not divisible by 2 and 15 is divisible by 10. So if you see, it goes only for 10 because 5 2s are 10. Next, we'll be checking for 3. If you see, 5 3s are 15 but 10 is not divisible by 3. So obviously, this is only divisible by 15. So this is not going to become our GCD. Next goes 4. So for 4, obviously, both 15 and 10 is not divisible exactly. So in such a case, we don't have any number and it's not going to be our GCD. Next, a 5. In 5, if you see, we have both 15 and 10 dividing exactly by 5. So we have both 15 and 10. See. Now if you see the 2a case, if both are divisible by that number, make that as GCD. So for now, we will uh, mention this as GCD. So for now, the maximum number we have tried dividing is 5 and that number is divisible by both 15 and 10. So now let's check for 6. If you see for 6, both 15 and 10 is not divisible. And then for 7, then 8 and then 9, we will be checking. Until 10, we will be checking. In both the cases, both 15 and 10 are not exactly divided by 6. 7, 8, 9 and 10. Only in the 10th case, we will be dividing the 10 number but not both the numbers. So now if you see, the GCD variable will be holding only one value and that is going to be 5. So now we got the GCD and GCD is 5. Now let's find the LCM. So we have a small formula that connects both LCM and HCF. The product of LCM and HCF will be the product of two numbers. Okay, so we don't know the LCM, but we know the HCF as 5. So the product of LCM HCF will be the product of two numbers, 10 into 15. That is nothing but 150. So our LCM is going to be 150 by 5 
that is nothing but 30. So we got both our GCV and LCM. So first we are getting the two numbers and we are looping through each and every number. Like and the last limit for that loop will be the smallest number among the two user inputs. We will be checking it. If both are divisible by a particular number, we are storing it in a variable called GCD. And after finding the GCD, we are going with the formula LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. And we find the LCM directly. First, we will open the Turbo C++. And we will create a new program. Let me save it first. So now we will include the required header files. And followed by void main. So now we have to have two numbers from the users. So num1 then num2 followed by we have to get gcd and lcm to store the gcd value and the lcm value and we need a variable i for looping now we will get the user input printf enter first number scan of So first number is stored, followed that we are going to get the second number. We have to save it in the second variable. Now we have to check out of this which is the bigger number so now we will give a variable called check now we are going to check whether num1 is greater or num2 is greater so if num1 is greater than num2 then simply we are assigning the check to the minimum number because num2 is lesser else we are giving the check value. We are assigning the check variable with num1. See, I am checking whether num1 is greater than num2. If num2 is lesser, I am assigning to check. If num1 is lesser, I am assigning it to check according to the condition. Now, we have to start the loop and we have to start it from 2 till the minimum number. So, i is equal to 2. i must go till the check value. Then, i plus plus. Then we have to check if num1 percentage i equal to equal to 0 and num2 percentage i is equal to equal to 0. That is both num1 and num2 are divisible by that particular number. If that's the case, then we have to assign that value to GCD. Okay. So once it is done, so I am closing the loop also. Now we have to find the LCM which is nothing but num1 star num2 slash gcd. We found the formula, we learned the formula earlier. Now we will print those values. gcd equal to percentage d, LCM equal to percentage d, comma gcd LCM. Now we will save the program and run this. Let me run the program. Uh, let me give the first number as 15, second number as 10. See, we got the GCD as 5 and LCM as 30. So if you think my work is good, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Keep supporting.